Pelicans know their fans will be fired up for tonight's action. And as they came into the building, the players were plenty fired up themselves. High above the vibrant downtown of New Orleans, we've got action from the Big Easy tonight. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. Along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry and our sideline reporter, Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Allie, it's all yours. Hey, Brian, it's not often one team loses a superstar big man and immediately welcomes another. But that's been the case with the Pelicans and Zion Williamson. Last season, he tied the record for most consecutive 20-point games, shooting over 50% from the field. 25 straight alongside Shaquille O'Neal. Brian, impressive. Outstanding. Thanks, Allie. As we near the postseason, let's see where the West is shaken out. Taking a look at New Orleans, currently eighth in their conference, they're hoping to keep that playoff spot. And of course, San Antonio, five spots from the top. Right now for the Spurs, as we see them limp towards the finish line, you really have to believe that everyone is going to be evaluated from top to bottom. And you have to wonder just how different this team will look next season from players to possibly coaches, maybe every level of the organization. Here's the starting group for the San Antonio Spurs. Murray and White in the backcourt. Jakob Pertl out there with Doug McDermott. And it's Johnson in at the three. And for the Pelicans, Ingram at the three, Zion at the four. It's Graham and Alexander Walker at the one and the two. And it's Balanchunas in at the five down low. And we know the long season is a grind for players, Graham. What about the coaches? You know what? A long season is a grind for everyone. Not just for the coaches, but for the training staffs, for the basketball operations department. Everyone involved understands that it's a grind both physically and mentally. Now here's White. Back to Murray. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. This is how you begin a game. Set the tone right from the jump. Ah, take a nice deep breath. You score on that first possession. Gets the game started the right way. Ingram against Pirtle. Money from the wing. Brandon Ingram, a constant threat on the offensive end. A little bit of work right there in the mid-range. Outside White. Fires for three. And he buries his first look. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. And DeJounte Murray is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Uh, kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Outside Graham. Williamson against McDermott. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. A great momentum as Zion carried himself right to the rack. Look at the backboard, still shaking. Pass to Murray. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Murray's gotten his second bucket of the game. And that's exactly how you attack Link. I love how he doesn't lack assertiveness. Yeah, hard to stop it there if you're the big man. That's just too good a shot and great concentration. Here's Alexander Walker taking a look at his numbers, averaging about 11 a game. White against Williamson. Outside White. Graham against Murray. Pass to McDermott. Just five to shoot. Murray against Graham. Murray, no good. I mean, I think that was their first miss of the game. They've been just rolling. One of the more improved players over the last few years. Murray has thrived in his high usage role. You just wonder how good can this kid become? Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Outside White, pass to Murray. Puts up a three. 
Valanciunas with a rebound. And it's really incredible the number of ways Murray can affect the game. I mean, I totally agree, B.A. I mean, he creates for himself and others one of the best rebounders in the league at his position. And boy, is he disruptive on defense. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. Here's White. Not going to go that time. Pass to Williamson. Oh, Williamson throws it down. Yeah, looks like Zion's got the stage all to himself there, just tearing down the rim. White, the pass to Johnson. Murray with it. McDermott outside over Williamson and count the basket. He was fouled and he's going to the line for one more. Shooting for San Antonio, Doug McDermott at the line for one. a good stroke by McDermott looking to find opportunities like that he has limitless range Graham the pass to Williamson pass to Ingram nice spin off the left rim and in starting to find his rhythm he's cooking and he knows it. yeah right now I don't see any let up I think he's gonna just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight now here's White Ten points in his last outing. To the middle. Here's Murray. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. The Pelicans trail. Now here's Graham. Outside Ingram. Back to Graham. He shoots it. Rebounded by the Spurs. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot even with little or no defense on you. And Pirtle gets it to go on the assist by Murray. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Pass to Ingram. Now Williamson. Oh, Williamson throws it down! Yeah, but when Sion gets that close and it's a position that he likes, Backboard's going to be shaken. Murray against Graham. The kick out to Johnson. Hits the trifecta. Pretty much not a player in the league is going to pass up a shot like that so much for the defense. Pass to Williamson. Going inside. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. The baseline, Jay. And there are the Spurs with another bucket. Here's Graham. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Outside Ingram. Pass to Williamson. Now Murray, what a tremendous game he played against Portland. Can't hit that one. Ooh, good D by Graham. Here's Williamson. That's basket number six in eight tries. Can't blame the deficit on him. He's been scoring at will this period. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. There aren't many players that have come into the NBA as a consensus number one pick like Zion Williamson did. Nobody was passing on this fellow. Who is the loudest and craziest fan in the building? Whoever you are, you want to get a free t-shirt. Let me hear you. Let me hear you, fan.
The Pelicans making the switch here. Birch has checked in. A big group substitution here for San Antonio. Collins, he's checked in for Pirtle. Young comes in for McDermott. Vassell, he's checked in for Johnson. And it's Walker in for White. And once again, off the mark by San Antonio. The Pelicans have got 8 out of 12 shots to fall. Graham for 3. And Young pulls it down. San Antonio leading. Outside Murray. Shot clock at five. And that's his fourth this bucket of the game in seven attempts. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Pass to Alexander Walker. And here's Ingram outside. And they'll get another chance. And can connect on that one. His first miss. He's two of three now. To the paint. From eight feet away. Here's Collins. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. And the Spurs lead by seven. Murray against Graham. 19-footer. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. And they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Who's going to miss first? Every time one team scores, the other team right back at you. Now here's Walker. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Murray up top over Graham. The Spurs rebound. Here's Vassell. The third yeah, shot of the possession that? finally falls Assisted. for him. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. New Orleans has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Williamson outside. Pass to Ingram. Driving in. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. Ingram's got six. That Ingram and that body and that maturation showing off in plays just like that. Here's Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Here's Alexander Walker, guarded by Young. His first shot coming late. Kicks it out to Williamson. Shoots over Walker. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. 14 points for him. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Pass to Vassell. He takes it in, and he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. And sends it home with some passion. I think he's rubbing it in a little bit here. Hanging up there like that. Outside Graham. Over Young. Tipped. Six on the shot clock. First foul. Zach Collins. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Into the lineup for the Spurs. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Hayes against Collins. Shot from 12. And he can't get that one. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. Coming off a win against the Blazers. And it was really their defense that got them the win. They had a plan scripted out, and it worked to perfection. Well, good defensive game plan, and then carrying it out for 48 minutes. That really helped them out in that last game. The Pelicans trail. Graham, the pass to Birch. Here's Murphy. Looking at his numbers, currently he's averaging around nine points a game. Fires, top of the key. Graham misses. They've been just a little bit better on the glass so far, showing their tremendous work ethic. Tipped away, and stolen by Hayes. 
Graham, the pass to Hayes. Here's Murphy. Walker covering. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. San Antonio has gone two of four from distance to begin this one. Outside Young. Pass to Bissell. From behind the arc. Tipped. And they recover it. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Walker. Perfect night so far. Two for two. Yeah, their aggressive approach on the offensive glass has created second chance opportunities. Graham, the pass to Birch. Poke loose. Stolen by Young. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Walker. Back to Young. It's good. It's young. And now an 11 point Spurs lead. Already six of their points coming off second chances. Pretty impressive. Outside Graham. Takes the three. And so it's DeJounte Murray making things happen for San Antonio. He put together 10 points in the quarter. We'll be right back after this word. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And guys, we've seen a confident looking Spurs team out there. Well, a big differentiator was their ability to generate offense by pounding the glass. Keep plays alive with your activity. That's what it's about. Well, San Antonio's shooting has been spectacular. 67%. Just incredible. So, on the floor for San Antonio. We've got Devin Vassell. Thaddeus Young out there with Zach Collins. Then it's Lonnie Walker. And it's Primo in at the two-guard spot. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. That's his first Chance at a three-point opportunity here. One free throw coming up. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Spurs. We've seen a lot of their points coming off penetration in this first half. Uh, what else I'm seeing is that the mid-range shot is going to be available all night. So far, they're knocking those down. Crazy stat here, Brent. For nine consecutive seasons, the league has broken the record for three-pointers made. Man, where does it end? I don't know. I think we're redlining on the uh, on the tachometer at this point, BA. Uh, a lot of teams electing to play that space and three-point ball type of offense, but we're reaching the outer limits. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Pass to Young. Over Graham. And again, it's San Antonio converting. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. The Pelicans shooting it well, around 55% for the game. Now Sadoransky. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Here's Primo. It's Walker on the wing. Graham covering. Nice Walker. shot by Walker. When the player gets a feel for that floater, you can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Now here's Graham. A valuable part of their offense. Averaging a little more than 16 a game. Here's Hart. Uses the glass on the layup. Hart's gotten his first basket of the night. I just think that's trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. Pass to Primo. Graham against Walker. Drives to the hoop. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Alan Chunas, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Lonnie Walker the four. One shot.
Free throw good. Walker. For New Orleans, they've got two of three shots to go in the second. Pass to Valentunas. Here's Hart. Oh, he missed it. Making him one for two now. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Nice Mind shot by Walker. The Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Valanchunas with it. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Sadoransky outside. Outside Hart. Six to shoot. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Hart's got his second basket on the night. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. Unlike a lot of NBA players, Josh Hart spending four years in college and eventually winning a national championship in 2016 at Villanova. Now here's Sadoransky. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. Pass to Graham. They get it again. And the dunk by Valentunas. Grabs the board and goes right in for the putback. I love it, B.A. Yeah, wanting to close the gap. Makes sense to get aggressive on the glass here. Now here's Pirtle. Coming off a 12-point game. Takes a 13-footer. Hurdle. Great positioning on the putback. And the Spurs lead by 17. He really gets in perfect position for the follow. Just a terrific read. Hayes with it. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Sadoransky outside. Shoots over Johnson. Pelicans keep it alive. Hey, shot's good. Activity on the glass. That's a possession that could have gotten away from them. White, the pass to Pirtle. And the bucket is good. Pirtle's got four points this quarter. Rock the baby. Working the size advantage inside. Pass to Hayes. Ram for three, and it's in. Only two for nine, though. That's pretty much not how they to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. It's Pirtle high post. Now White fires from deep. Pure from three-point range. For three. White's gotten his third basket of the night. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Now here's Graham. He's got five. Inside. The kick out to Walker. Pass to Pirtle. Oh, he gets it to go. So far, he can't miss. He's four for four. And give their offense some love. They've been the more efficient team. Yeah, that along with maintaining the pace of play right now, playing with tons of intensity. Back to Hart. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It was a strong move. The shot's just a little off. At the line for your Pelicans, Josh Hart taking two shots. Shooting two. The first one falls. New Orleans making some changes. Williamson's checked in for Hayes. Brandon Ingram comes in for Graham. And it's Alexander Walker in for Sadoransky. McDermott's checked in for San Antonio. Murray comes in for Walker.
And that's good as he hits both shots. San Antonio has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Down low. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Pelicans. The Pelicans have gotten six of ten shots to drop in the second. Nice work. Ingram finds Valanchunas. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Murray. Oh, and a fast break for the Spurs. From deep, Johnson. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Johnson's got six. And with the defender not really committing to him, he fires away. Pass to Ingram. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That's on Jakob Pertl. And they made Ingram fight for that one, but he's not afraid to get physical. This is a good sign. Brandon Ingram. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. You think about the early part of Brandon Ingram's career. So long and so skinny. People worried about his frame. And that he might not have uh, the ability to put on the weight and deal with the rigors. That's not true. Both free throws good from Ingram. And when it comes to Ingram's strength, Brent, he's proved it doesn't affect his ability to be a dominant scorer. Well, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, you know, of recent memory were guys that came in thin and wiry. People thought they were going to get pushed around. Ingram now doing the pushing, especially on the offensive end. McDermott can't get it to go. And for the Pelicans, their shooting has been great this game, 58%. Back to Hart. Clock at six. Williamson passes to Hart. No good from outside. San Antonio's gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Here's Murray. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Murray's got 12 points in the game. Pass to Valanchunas. Who poked away. Williamson. Count that one. He's 8 for 10 from the field now. Yeah, pretty dialed in right now as Zion is hitting everything. The team hoping he can maintain this. Murray with it. Guarded by Valanchunas. Outside Johnson. And it doesn't fall for him. Made 2, missed 2 now. The Pelicans have gotten 7 of 12 shots to go here in the second. It's good. He's got 18. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. Murray against Hart. It's Johnson with a drive. Count it. His third and five attempts. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. Williamson finds Ingram. That's good. And it's Williamson with the assist. A smart play. Signs of Zion Williamson picking up what it is that's going on out there and being efficient. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Well, after going first to nobody's surprise in June 2019, Zion Williamson had to wait a little bit before he got his first NBA game, suffering that knee injury in the preseason. And that debut came in January the 22nd of 2020.
He's checked in for Valanchunas. The Spurs making a switch here. San Antonio has gone two of four from beyond the arc in the second quarter. In one of the most anticipated debuts in league history, Zion delivered. Oh, man, it was an incredible stretch during that third quarter of the game. It was on national TV, and Williamson scored 17 points in a quick three minutes, knocked down four trays, and all of a sudden the NBA was a buzz that Zion Williamson had arrived. And once again, off the mark by San Antonio. Pass to Alexander Walker. Hard with it. Back to Alexander Walker. Off the mark there with a three. Well, the Spurs shooting has been on another level. 68% for the game. Now Young. Now Williamson, defended by McDermott. And here's Ingram outside. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. Williamson's got four assists now tonight. Murray against Hart. Pass to Vassell. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Collins inside. He's covered by Hart. Yep, that one goes. Collins has got his second basket of the night. Collins not afraid of getting hit on the inside and goes up through all of that arms and legs in there. Here's Hart, and he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. The B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Birch against Collins. And he gets it to go. Collins has got four points this quarter. Even with the defense all over him, Collins sticking with it. Ingram against McDermott. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. And the Spurs lead by 15. Oh, phenomenal hustle. He has a knack for those boards. Man, he is tenacious when that ball goes up. Outside Hart. Pass to Williamson. Outside Ingram. Five to shoot. That three's off the mark. San Antonio's gone two of five from deep here in the second. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Vassell, covered by Ingram. Murray passes to Collins. Soft touch off the glass. Collins has got eight points. Strong suit on offense is Collins getting down on the inside. Outside Ingram. Here's Williamson. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And so it's San Antonio leading by 17 at the end of the period. They put in work down low, getting in close and scoring in bunches. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks. I'm here with Spurs head coach Greg Popovich. Coach, how do you get this team playing so efficiently at the offensive end? I beg my butt off constantly. It's embarrassing. At least the begging's paying off, though. Good luck in the second half. Thanks, coach. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. It has been a clinic out there by Zion Williamson. Yeah, he plays such a smart first half, maximizing his opportunities offensively. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half and wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. Yeah, there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. It's an all-Duke forward pair. Ingram the three, Zion the four. It's Graham and Alexander Walker at the one and the two. And it's Valanchunas in at the center spot. That's the group for Willie Green getting going here in the second half. Here's New Orleans now. 
trailing by 19. Outside Ingram. Valanciunas down low. Johnson on him. That one drops for him. He seems to be in the right place at the right time more often than anybody that's on the court here tonight. We see that pay off. White finds Pirtle. Williamson with it. He's picked up by Pirtle. Ingram on the wing. And that's a foul called on Jakob Pirtle. That'll be a second foul of the game. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Let's see if that block can amp up this team. I mean, they're looking for anything to get themselves going. Pass to Alexander Walker. McDermott against Williamson. Valanciunas with it. Five on the clock. Outside Graham. And stolen by Murray. Awesome defense. Just outstanding effort to reach his big hands in there and just rip the ball away. And it's Murray finishing it off. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. And the gamble paying off. Now here's Valanciunas. A steady force on their offense. Recording around 14 and a half a game. McDermott with the ball. Guarded by Valanciunas. Pass to Murray. And here's McDermott. He's got five. Let's go with a three. He buries it from three. three McDermott's got eight points. And how about that? Coming out to start the half, a perfect three of three. Graham, the pass to Valanciunas. Here's Alexander Walker. Back to Valanciunas. Here's Ingram. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. Murray against Valanciunas. The kick out to White. Uncovered. Yes. And it's Murray picking up the assist. Ten points for him. Well, great start. Check that box. They've made their first four shots, guys, and the offense looking very fluid right now. Here's Graham. The rebound by the Spurs. Hurdle's got five rebounds tonight. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Here's Alexander Walker looking for his first basket still in this one. Gotta love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. Graham against Murray. Oh, great D that time from Graham. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. To the inside. And the dunk by Valanciunas. Coaches love to see ball movement, especially when it gets you that kind of look. Outside White. Over to the wing. McDermott finds Pirtle. Now here's Murray. Graham covering. Murray against Graham. Fires at the elbow. Shot is good. Off the back rim and in. Murray's got 16 points. And he's going to nail these if you give him the space. That's just soft D. The defense also looking defeated. The lack of hustle is driving the coaching staff a little bit batty right now. New Orleans calls timeout. Wow, what a performance by DeJounte Murray. You got to be using this timeout to think about a personnel change or a game plan change to try to slow him down.
On defense, the Spurs. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here's Graham. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Man, the defender really went after him. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Spurs. I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In the first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. And for whatever reason, their confidence in the mid-range game has shown up here tonight. They've been impressive from there. That shot's been there all day long, and they've knocked it down. Free throw's good for Graham. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Spurs have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Murray passes to Pirtle. Pass to Johnson. Out to the right wing. Clock at four. Primo. Good. Yes, Primo. The Pelicans have gone four of eight in the third. Sadoransky right side. Hayes, the pass to Valanchunas. And that's a foul called on Jakob Pertl. That's his third foul of the game. Young, he's checked in for Pertl. Third team foul. Into the lineup for the Spurs, Thaddeus Young. Hayes, the pass to Graham. Pass to Valentunas. The kick out to Graham. Just two to shoot. Gets the three to fall. Graham's got five points now in the quarter. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on it. And out of bounds. New Orleans will have it. So Burge, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Hart comes in for Sadoransky. And so it's New Orleans with it. 17-point game. Now here's Hayes. Outside Graham. Outside Hart. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for New Orleans, Josh Hart taking two shots. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Vassell, he's checked in for San Antonio. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. Hard against Walker with the drive. Oh, he remains perfect. Seven for seven, showing no signs of letting up. Love his shot selection. Good at taking quality shots. Whether he's defended or open, he knows how to knock those down. Pass to Murphy. Birch down low, covered by Johnson. Shot clock at six. Graham, that's good. That's pretty unselfish there. He sees that there's a better shot on the perimeter, and bang, just kicks it out. Walker against Hart. Here's Young. Yes, great play by Walker to set it up. Young's got six. I love how unafraid they are to mix it up in the paint. Hart passes to Hayes. Oh, 
Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Thaddeus Young. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. At the line for New Orleans, Jackson Hayes. Two shots. And he makes a first. And the Spurs making a change here. Collins checked in. And he makes both free throws. The Spurs have gone 8 of 10 in the third and look at in control. Here's Primo. He's covered by Hart. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. At the line for the Spurs, Josh Primo. At the line for two. one falls for him. Well, Brent, there are over 50 NBA players from the continent of Africa or with family ties there. And the NBA is investing in Africa's infrastructure for basketball. Well, they're building courts there. The league is going to grow there. And I think within five years, B.A., we're going to have an influx of talent and the player who's going to come in to the NBA and make a huge impact. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. For New Orleans, they've gotten six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. Graham, the pass to Birch. Now it's Hart. Takes a three. He drops it from range. Hart's got 13. I think the defense has more concerns out there on the floor. And they give him a good open look from the perimeter. Walker finds Collins. Here's Primo. He's covered by Hart. Back to Collins. Over Graham. Oh, a nice shot by He's Collins. Out. He's got 10. The Pelicans have gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. Young against Graham. Pass to Birch. Here's Murphy. Yep, that one goes. Uh, their plan working to perfection there if that was their plan. And if it wasn't, maybe that should be their plan. Here's Primo. He's defended by Hayes. Outside Walker. Three-pointer. It's Hayes with the rebound. New Orleans has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Here's Murphy. The shot off that time. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. Pass to Primo. To the paint. It's tipped. And stolen by Hayes. Outside Graham. Now here's Hart. The layup off target. San Antonio is going one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Walker against Hart. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Man, good whistle there. Second team foul. Shooting for San Antonio. Lonnie Walker the four. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Oh. 
And he drops the first. So he makes both from the line. The Pelicans have gotten 8 of 14 attempts to go in the second half so far. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Hayes, the pass to Hart. And there's the drive. And it's in there. Hart's got 15. And he's leading the charge for them. But let's be honest, he needs more help if they're going to get out in front. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. Now here's Collins. Ten points for him. Young, the pass to Collins. Just five on the clock. And here's Young. And rejected. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation is the buzzer sound. And the Pelicans making a change here. Alexander Walker's checked in. New Orleans has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Graham against Walker. Pass to Murphy. The three is up. Good. And Graham with the setup. Graham's got five assists in the game. And their perimeter shooting numbers have been up since the start of the second half. Here's Vassell. Walker with it. Here he goes. Deflected. Now Graham. He's got 12. A minute 31 left in the third quarter. Here's Murphy. Off the mark. Had a chance there to trim it to single digits. Pass to Walker. Here's Primo. And once again, off the mark by San Antonio. Here's Murphy. Walker covering. Here's Murphy. He has seven. Can't connect from 13 feet out. But nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. Did you see that? I mean, going right to the rim, that's how you finish in the open floor. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. Here's Graham following the bucket by the Spurs. On the wing, Alexander Walker. The three-pointer off the mark. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Pass to Young. Walker with it. He's got 18. There's the drive. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Both teams will make substitutions. Lonnie's walking the court. At the line for one. One shot. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. New Orleans has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Outside Ingram. Outside Graham. From deep. And that's not going to go. And so it's San Antonio with an impressive 16-point lead heading into the break. They're getting quality looks, and that's why they're shooting at such a high clip. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere.
And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. Doesn't happen with every point guard in the league as far as setting your teammates up. Lots more scores now, but right there creating the scoring opportunity for his teammate. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. And so in the game for the Spurs. Murray and White in the backcourt. Doug McDermott out there with Devin Vassell. And it's Hurdle in at the five. Chalk up two there. You've got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out. He brings it. And here's Murray. Pass to White. Alexander Walker grabs a board. Coach loves the execution, just not the result. That's okay. That's part of the process. And that's a foul called on Jakob Pertl. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And that's number four. Definitely something to keep track of as we move forward. Graham against Murray. Releases. Unable to get that one. San Antonio goes the other way with it. 22 was their biggest lead. Next up, they'll take on the Rockets at Toyota Center. And that game will mark the end of a four-game trip. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Outside Ingram. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Here's Alexander Walker, covered by Pirtle. Alexander Walker with the bucket. That was not an easy move. I mean, especially against that length. Yeah, I don't think he even sees a taller defender out there. Just a gifted scorer. Now here's White. Beyond the arc. Pelicans cleared away. Alexander Walker's got four rebounds in the game. Takes it inside. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. To the middle. Here's Pirtle. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Uh, you can tell right now the teammates are scanning the floor to find him and feed him. Why not? He's on it right now. Johnson, he's checked in for Vassell. And the free throw, no good. The Pelicans have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Graham, and the layup falls. Really heads up there. Played where you locate the best open pass and then you get it there for an easy bucket. Valachunas against Pirtle. White on the wing from the corner. And he nails the jumper. And the Spurs lead by 14. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Graham, the pass to Valanchunas. Over Pirtle. And Valanchunas gets it to go on the assist from Graham. Graham's got six assists in the game. The Spurs shooting the ball with purpose. They're 68% from the field. Here's White. Alexander Walker grabs the board. Alexander Walker's got rebound number five here tonight. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. Well, if you came here looking for a scoring battle, I think you made the right choice. Now, both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. Going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. Now here's White. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. That'll be a second foul of the game. Second team foul. Here's Murray. Outside Johnson. Six on the shot clock. 
fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Can't hit from in close. Williamson passes to Graham. Here's Alexander Walker, defended by McDermott. Ingram against White. Now here's Ingram. He's closely guarded. No good there. That would have cut it to single digits. And for the Spurs, they're shooting about 43% since the fourth quarter began. McDermott, the pass to White. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. If you talk to anyone about White, Grant, they'll tell you he's best when he's being assertive. I totally agree. I mean, White can be caught standing around when he's not involved. You want him initiating and pick and roll, and he makes pretty good decisions. Now, he may never be a star, but he's going to give you solid minutes. First free throw is good. White hits them both. Well, a great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Pass to Ingram from outside the arc. San Antonio with a rebound. And yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. Outside White. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Keel Alexander Walker. That's his second personal foul. Fourth team foul. Now here's Johnson. Into the lane. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Here's Graham. Pass to Valanchunas. Ingram against Johnson. And that one's good. Ingram. Well, when he gets around there because he's so long and so quick off the floor, Brandon Ingram tough to stop. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Over the last break, I got a chance to hear what Greg Popovich was telling his team. He likes what he's seeing, but he cautioned his players, we are not far enough ahead to assume anything. Momentum can shift in a heartbeat. We have to be diligent, and we have to be smart. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Now here's Murray. Cash money. Out of his 14 attempts, he's drained nine of them absolutely ruthless he's not about to start showing mercy now confidence is sensational and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring here's Valanchunas Pirtle comes with a double Valanchunas finds Graham over Johnson that one a tad offline but it drops in for him they brought the double team to force the ball out of his hands but failed to rotate off the pass pass to McDermott and here's Johnson. Count 
with that one. He's now five for eight. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Murray with it, and it's Graham picking him up. Pass to McDermott. Outside Johnson, driving to the basket. Oh, good work defensively by Ingram. The Pelicans have gone 8 of 12 so far here in the fourth. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's on Doug McDermott. I mean, the excitement around Zion is completely undeniable. He's so explosive. And he's so dynamic. It'll be interesting to see where he can take his talents. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. Young, he's checked in for San Antonio. And so he's able to get one of two. For San Antonio, they've gone 6 for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Graham, the pass to Valanchunas. Now here's Ingram. Launches a three. Gets the three ball to go. Ingram's got 22. Well, that equals his three-point total from the first half. He had one before the break. And that's his first three of this half. Now here's Murray. The kick out to Johnson. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Johnson's got seven points here in the quarter. Murray against Graham. Outside Ingram. And a slam dunk by Ingram. And this is where that length shows off on particular plays like that. Still able to score. Pass to Pirtle. Back to White. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And the Spurs lead by 15. Graham, the pass to Ingram. Down low. Now Graham. And here's Ingram, covered by Johnson. Clock at six. The 15-footer. And it's New Orleans with another. It feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. Outside White. Pass to Murray. Let's it go. He can't get it to go. And it's New Orleans taking it the other way. Here's Alexander Walker, guarded by Young. And that's a foul called on Jakob Pertl. That'll be foul number five on him. And that's five. One more, and he'll be disqualified. Got to be more careful. Outside Ingram. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Hurdle. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. Well, when you make these kind of improvements in your game, you're putting in a lot of work in the offseason. Brandon Ingram growing up right in front of us. The Spurs making a switch here. McDermott's checked in. And he knocks down the first one. It's been fun watching Brandon Ingram's scoring stats climb. He's a guy who can really fill it up, whether he's inside or outside of the arc. The 
He's perfect from the line this time. You know, Grant, what's really impressive about Ingram scoring is what he can do on those nights when he just goes off. <laughs> yeah, we've seen some explosive stuff from him on the offensive end from time to time. Now, when he's dialed in, he can absolutely torture you. You just wish he could perform at that level every night. Now here's McDermott. Five to shoot. Here's Murray. On the money from 12 feet away. Murray's got four points this quarter. Well, looking into the gaps of the defense there, he's not going to miss many of those when he gets to that range. Pass to Alexander Walker. Graham for three. Rebounded by the Spurs. White's got four rebounds in the game. Young with it. Valanchunas covering. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. Thaddeus Young taking two shots. Shooting two. That one misses. And the second free throw is good. New Orleans has gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. The drive by Ingram. Inside. And Valanchunas gets it to go on the assist by Ingram. And Brandon Ingram at that size able to survey the entire floor and make a play. Outside White. Pass to Johnson. The three ball. Williams grabs the board. Williamson's got six rebounds now in the game. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Outside Ingram. And it's New Orleans with another. He's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's been on his game. It's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. We've got a minute 48 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Murray. Count it. Murray's got 10 points in just the second half. Now that was a clever adjustment. I mean, that was a tough shot. Now, showing off a little bit on that one. That's a play when your coach goes, no, no. Okay, good play. Get back on defense. Now here's Ingram. Good on the shot. Ingram's got 32 points in the game. Brandon Ingram showing some toughness that time. That's a strong finish. Murray against Graham. Alexander Walker grabs the board. The Pelicans shooting about 60% for the game. Here's Williamson. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Williamson's got 23. Well, Zion is no stranger to guys being around him. He's used to going through them, and he does it there. Pass to Young. Now Johnson, covered by Ingram. Williamson against Young. Fader on the way. Pelicans cleared away. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Graham for three. Oh, he nails it! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. That's a clutch shot by a big-time shooter. And where's the D? Murray against Williamson. Shoots off the step back. Murray, no good. This might be a turning point. Massive possession here. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. The shot by Alexander Walker, no good. And now we've got an intentional foul. Zion Williamson. That's his third personal foul. Team is in the penalty. Shooting for San Antonio. DeJounte Murray. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Oh, the first of two, no good. A heartbreaker. And 
And he does get the second one. And that increases the lead to six. Timeout called. The Pelicans. They trail by six. There's 21 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. All right, guys, what's your take? The game's not quite done yet, but they need points right away. Yeah, act fast, but without mistakes. Now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, DeJounte Murray. And you have to give him credit. I mean, his shooting is really what put them over the top. I mean, his percentage from the field was just rock solid. I mean, just reliable, consistent, steady. Man, he gave them a safety net on every possession out there. Johnson against Ingram. Pass to Graham. Back to Ingram. And nails the trade! This is why you love Brandon Ingram. I'm called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. They lead by three. There's six seconds left to play in the fourth. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. At the line for the Spurs, DeJounte Murray. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that gives him a four point cushion. And so he drops them both, and it's a five-point game. When you've got your opponent down, don't let him up. This one's all but over. New Orleans calls timeout. They're losing by five. Just four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? Trying to extend this one, but it seems futile. Yeah, this is the classic too little, too late. The effort coming, and not enough time for them to get back in it.
Here's Graham. And it's good. A terrific movement off of the dead ball situation. And a great play to get the bucket. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Shooting for San Antonio. DeJounte Murray. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. And the second free throw, no good. Tough break there. So it's a narrow victory for the Spurs, pulling out the W. They played the villain tonight, and they played it well. <laughs> yes, they did. And, you know, you have two choices. You can either succumb to the hostility in this arena, or you can feed off of it and use it as motivation. They did the latter. And that'll do it, folks. So alongside Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. So long, everyone.